Welcome to My Money Gym. Today we have the pleasure to count with Maxime Carmillac with us. Hello, Maxime. Tell us about you and your role at Carmillac, please. Yes, yeah, so I am Maxime. I uh, work for Carmillac, so Maxime mm -hmm. Carmillac, Carmillac, you can see it's a family business. Yeah. I run the UK office and I also run the products, um, the ESG and the strategic diversification. So mm -hmm. talking about Carmignac, it's a family business that has been created by my father 35 years ago. And I think that today in asset management, being a family business is very special. So that's what makes the difference? I think that indeed, being a family business first, we see our employees are a prolongation of the family. So a family extension. So I think it's very special because we care for our employees and I hope that our employees care for us. And also being a family business means that we are independent. We are not a publicly listed company here to uh, um, answer the short-term market requirements, the next quarterly earnings target. Mm -hmm. We are not the daughter of a mother company with different strategic objectives. We have one and only objectives, the clients. Mm. Only the clients. And also, that means that we can see for the long term. Being a family business means that you can invest for the long term. Even if you don't have an immediate payback for an investment, this is still worth it because I think that over the long term, it will bring value to my clients. And finally, being a family business means you have like skin in the game, alignment of interest. Okay, so this is, uh, that's why it's so important to be aligned with your clients, I guess. Perfect. Uh, you clearly see the advantages of being a family business that has both to your firm, but you also invest in other family-owned business. Why do they often perform better? What do you think so? Yeah, indeed, Anna. So first, I need to tell you a fact. Mm -hmm. Family business overperform non-family businesses. You know? We have made a huge study at Carmignac. We have hired one dedicated quant. And we've be, we came back 25 years ago, so we have 25 mm -hmm. years of data, which show that over the long term, indeed, family businesses overperform non-family businesses by over 35% on 25 years. So you could ask why do they overperform? As we said, um, independence, mm -hmm. long-term investment, so I have, I have invested higher capex, higher research and development out of sales, and also the skin in the game, meaning that everyone at your company will do his or her best to achieve the best possible results. You, know, you see the family business almost as an extension of yourself. It could be your hand, your legs, this is you. you know? So you want to fight, you want to do your best so that the company achieves the best results. And also you are careful in terms mm -hmm. of risk, you know, because you, know, you don't want to be in trouble both at home and at work. So there is a better <laughs> risk aversion and also family businesses tend to overperform when times are difficult. Okay, that's fantastic. How can your clients uh, invest in family-owned businesses? Yes, yeah, so I have such a high conviction in family businesses that I decided to create a fund that invests only in family businesses. So this is a global mm -hmm. equity long-only fund, but which invests only in companies where family, founder, trust or foundation owns more than 10% minimum of the voting rights. So if you take like the MSCI worldwide, you have around 3,000 companies, and actually 20% of them, so 600 companies, are controlled by a family. And out mm -hmm. of 600 companies, we pick the best. You know, we take the best fundamentals, the best valuation, and we come to only 80 companies. And here, we keep only half of those 80, because for family businesses, as it comes to investments, There is one key word, Anna, which is governance. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in family businesses, powers tends to be concentrated in fewer hands. This is very concentrated. Therefore, governance is a double-edged sword, you know. It can be very good or very bad. So, mm -hmm. at Carmignac, for this specific fund that we call Carmignac Family Govern, we invest in high-quality family businesses which have demonstrated a superior governance. Okay, thank you very much for this explanation. So you said about the portfolio family govern, and so it's a part of thematic range at Carmignac, and which thematics do you invest in and why? 
Yeah. So at Carmignac, you know, we're a boutique, so we don't pretend to be good at everything. We want to be the best at some mm -hmm. specific niches. That's why we have a very focused approach as it comes to thematic. We only have three thematic funds, but three thematic funds where we have a very high conviction on. So family businesses is the first one. We have a second one, which we have called human experience. This is also a global long only equity fund, but it invests in companies where you have both high satisfaction from employees and customers. And when you think about it, this is a very positive dynamic because if you have um, a good companies with um, high satisfaction for clients, they will buy more products, so the company will get better and they will uh, reward employees better, which will make better products. So it's mm -hmm. a very good dynamic. And we have made some historical uh, data as well, analysis. And the beauty of that is that the overperformance of companies with high customer and employee satisfaction is accelerating because I'm sure that you all notice that now we have much more data than before. You know, we have uh, big data, we have natural language processing, and we have AI, of course. And thanks to this growing quality and quantity of data, now we are able to have very strong correlation, very strong analysis, analytical, uh, powerful engines to see which one will overperform. And this is also a very strong dynamic. And you can see with the power of Google+, Plus, of the social mm -hmm. media, of uh, TripAdvisor, you know, all of these websites now enabling customers to make decisions based on other customers' reviews. This is very powerful, and I think we are only at the beginning of this trend because if you look about thematic, lots of money has flown to environmental issues, to energy transition, which is very good. But mm -hmm. I think the next big wave will be about social and how can companies contribute positively to, uh, for a social uh, positive impact. And the last um, thematic product mm -hmm. that we have is, I will say, um, a product which I designed, well, designed by a woman for women. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I think that um, today, we talk a lot about women in the workplace, which is fantastic. But I think mm -hmm. for me, the biggest inequality between men and women is about a woman in their personal life, you know, in their own financial empowerment, you know. And here, if you look at studies, you know, which is that men invest more than women. So therefore, this is very unfair for women because they don't benefit from the uh, magic of compounding. Therefore, I created a fund, you know, for women, which is very simple, transparent, and which kind of overcomes the lack of confidence from women about finance, you know. I could it Carmignac Grand Children because it shows you that the very long-term objective of this client, invest and forget. Let it compound it on your behalf and with a high trust and uh, transparency. Thank you very much for being with us. It's been a pleasure and thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you. <laughs>